say test planning test planning see remember eft test process in eft test process test planning is first phase see root uft test process and the eft test process <coughs> first phase test planning next generating basic tests next enhancing tests next running and debugging running and debugging tests next analyzing analyzing test results next reporting defects reporting defects see test planning uh, what are the tasks in test planning phase of eft test process what are the tasks see first task <coughs> get environment details from development team and select appropriate add-ins uft is object based test tool based on front end objects only it performs test operations for example load runner <coughs> load runner protocol based tool uft object based tool to take any functional test automation tool selenium silk test rft any functional test tool they are object based test tools okay first first task get environment environment means application environment application development technology here important things are ui design technology <coughs> ui design technology next <coughs> database remember for database testing no add in required uft has an integrated ms access database engine and vb script also having database objects connection object record set object command object etc uh, three objects <coughs> but our test automation point of view two objects important see uft has an integrated ms access database engine next vb script also having database objects eft supports database testing without loading any add in for database testing no add in required for remaining all operations add ins required first of all uft has to recognize the uh, recognize our aut objects aut front end objects see get environment details who provides environment details developers from see 
uh, the, uh, this process uh, may vary from one company to another but uh, general scenario in general scenario developers provide environment details to testing team get environment details from development team and select appropriate add-ins say you can select one or more add-ins based on your application environment <coughs> okay I will give one small example concentrate <coughs> small example earlier I worked for a web application I will explain that uh, application environment details then you can get uh, more awareness on this uh, concept how to select appropriate add-ins okay my application type is application type web application web application next application environment application environment <coughs> say developer used HTML <coughs> HTML for web pages design web pages design next HTML and JavaScript for client side validations form validations HTML with JavaScript for client side validations next XML for data transportation next ASP active server pages see in dotnet technology ASP for server side container next <coughs> VB script for server side validations server side validations and one more thing also here they used ActiveX controls for some objects for example calendar objects date objects next C sharp VB dot net for components development for business logic next ADO dot net for 
database connectivity next sql server as database server next iis as what is iis iis Um, it is Microsoft Web Server Internet Information Service. See other uh, other web servers. Suppose Apache Apache Web Server, Java Web Server, etc. IIS as Web Server. Next Component Object Model Plus Complex as app server application server okay this is the complete environment <coughs> see based on this environment select appropriate add-ins see forget about remaining things here important things are important things are UI design technology and database. Database uh, connection string is required for database connectivity. Okay. First select appropriate add-ins. See in this application developers used HTML. In order to recognize HTML objects, web add-in required. Next, developers also used ActiveX controls for some objects. So, ActiveX add-in also required. Next, in this application, developers used some .NET objects also. Some .NET objects. In order to recognize the .NET object, .NET add-in also required. For example, another scenario, developers used .NET for business logic, but user interface design using HTML only that time web add in enough suppose developers used Java technology for business logic or components development HTML for web page design that time web add in enough no Java add in required when Java add in required suppose if developers use Java objects in user interface design then Java add-in required see in my application developers used some .NET objects so .NET also .NET add-in also required .NET see add-in .NET for see in .NET area we have three add-ins .NET for web forms .NET for GUI, uh, .NET for Windows Forms, .NET for Web Forms and WPF, Windows Presentation Foundation. For my application, .NET for Web Forms. See, selecting add-ins. Select add-ins. Okay now, got the point? How to select appropriate add-ins? Yes sir. Based on user interface okay. design technology. Okay. UI design technology. Yes. Okay. Next, how to get environment details? From where to get uh, environment details? From the developer. Developer. Development team. Okay. See, this is first task in test planning phase. See, first task in test planning phase. Next, second one. 
एनालाइज एनालाइज द ए यू टी अप्लीकेशन अंडर टेस्ट अप्लीकेशन अंडर टेस्ट एनालाइज द ए यू टी इन टर्म्स ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट आइडेंटिफिकेशन से आई ऑलरेडी टोल मेजर चैलेंज इन यू एफ टी टेस्ट ऑटोमेशन ऑब्जेक्ट आइडेंटिफिकेशन नॉट ओनली इन यू एफ टी यू टेक एनी फंक्शनल टेस्ट टूल मेजर चैलेंज इज ऑब्जेक्ट आइडेंटिफिकेशन If tool recognizes all of our application front-end objects, then automation is very easy. <clears throat> you can use UFT tool features and VB script features for creating and executing tests. But major challenge, object identification. See first, how to analyze how to analyze ah uh, how to analyze the application in terms of object identification based on ui design okay based on ui design so, uh, how how you know uh, whether the tool is recognizing all of your application front end objects or not how to confirm see you have uft tool installed next application under test also ready ah mm -hmm. uh, how to get see you by record and playback by mm -hmm. record and playback one of the solution is by a record and playback playback means execution by record and playback say you record some navigations and try to playback if tool is executing properly then no issues suppose if tool is not executing some uh, some uh, not executing some statements then you can locate the problem see best method for analyzing the aut record and playback next uh, other methods also there using view options using view options in object repository object repository say we have we have two view options in object repository locate in repository highlight in application one works from application to object repository another works from object repository to application what is the purpose of view options to map to map objects in between object repository and application under test to map objects say map objects in between uft and aut next using object spy see it is handy feature if we load appropriate add-ins it can get object information one by one 
Suppose if you don't load appropriate add-ins, then object spy also helpless. See out of these three methods, record and playback is best one. See this is about how to analyze the AUT in terms of object identification. Got the point? Tell me how to analyze the AUT in terms of object identification? Using object spy mm. and using view option in object repository mapping uh, mapping objects in between ob objects in, in repository between. and in application under test. Yes, object repository. See, mm -hmm. just a minute. In between object repository. Okay, UFT object repository. Next, record and playback. Okay. See, we analyzed, for example, we analyzed our AUT. Uh, UFT is recognizing all of our application front-end objects. Then you can start test design. For example, not recognizing some objects, the time solutions required. Solutions. See first solution first here are some categories of solutions. Categories of solutions. First first category tool level. Tool level solutions. Here object identification configuration. Object identification configuration. Suppose default configuration is not sufficient for our application, we can configure some more. EFT provides default configuration for every environment, add in level. If that configuration is not sufficient for our application, we can configure some more. You know how to configure object identification. Say in the above application, in this application, in this web application, we faced one problem. <clears throat> in that application, nearly 20 to 30 web buttons are there. Web buttons, uh, that is... Uh, image buttons in that application 20 to 30 image buttons are there all image buttons are recognizing except one image button that image button is not recognizing after providing one more property object identification HTML tag something for that object uh, the, that uh, image button then it work after providing one more property to that particular image button then it worked so different solutions just a minute image object three types general image image button image link see Object identification configuration is one of the solution. Next, use low level and insight record modes for unrecognized objects. Low level, uh, but uh, no guarantee, they may work, may not work, they may work, may not work, no guarantee, try. Next, <clears throat> virtual, uh, 
virtual object configuration. This is also trial and error feature. All these are tool level solutions. Suppose tool level solutions not worked, then organization level solution. Organization level. See, ask development team to provide proper properties information for unrecognized objects. Ask development team to provide proper properties information to recognize. Next, suppose second solution also not worked. Final one, raise ticket to vendor. Raise ticket to vendor. See at beginning, if you raise ticket to vendor, they explain. You try object identification, you try with low level recording, you try with virtual object configuration, etc. See after analyzing all these things, at the end if you raise ticket to vendor, they analyze the issue and provide private patches. After installing those private patches, you can recognize all objects. Not only private patches, they can provide other solution also. Same. After analyzing, after analyzing the issues, then vendor provides solution. See this is about uh, solutions. Tell me how to solve the issues, object identification issues. SFT, we got it. Uh, first, use the object identification. Ah. Yes, sir. Tool level. And first tool level solutions. Use object identification configuration. Next, use low level and insight recording modes. Next, use virtual object configuration. Uh, otherwise, uh, organization level solution, ask development team to provide proper properties information for unrecognized objects. Next, uh, last one, what is the final? A raise ticket to vendor. Raise ticket to vendor. See, next, see first task, get environment details. Second task, analyze the AUT. Third task, select test cases for automation. See in this area uh, no restrictions, no limitations and uh, from vendor side also no recommendations. You can select uh, any area but 100% uh, test automation is impractical. Generally, we try to automate maximum test cases, not all test cases. Okay. See, no restrictions, no limitations for selecting test cases. Generally, three common areas, three common areas are there. 
for selecting test cases. Generally, we select test cases. Sanity tests. First type, sanity tests. Tests that we have to execute on every build sanity tests see we have to execute sanity tests on every new build every new version of software if it is manual testing time taking process every time you need to execute manually all sanity test cases if it is automation once you create sanity tests tool can execute sanity tests n number of times without human user interaction next another area test that we have to execute on every modified build tests that we have to execute on every modified build type of tests regression tests see sanity tests constant fixed most of the time sanity tests are fixed but regression tests dynamic regression tests depends on strength of the development team and complexity of the application next test that we have to execute on test that we have to execute using multiple sets of test data tests that we have to execute using multiple sets of test data example data driven tests data driven tests see generally we automate we try to automate these three areas can you tell me what are the important uh, areas for automation for a sanity test uh, regression hmm. and then the last one data driven tests data driven test yes okay. next fourth task configure tool settings and globalize configure tool settings and globalize see already we discussed you take any software you can find two types of features constant features configurable features constant features that we have that we can use as it is configurable features according to our needs we can configure them in our EFT tools uh, in our EFT tool also some configurable features available you need to configure according to our project okay configuration okay 
then what is globalizing our tool is one tier application stand alone application desktop application it doesn't have any client server architecture suppose we two or three members means more than one member working for a project using multiple machines that time we need to globalize tool settings globalize tool settings providing common configuration for all machines in a project see tool settings available in uh, important tool settings available in three areas first area file menu settings next second area tools options next tools object identification first configure tool settings according to your project and globalize you know how to globalize using generate script feature <coughs> we can globalize tool settings next last one in this uh, test planning phase automation framework implementation automation framework implementation say it is optional task remaining all are above all are mandatory tasks selecting appropriate add-ins mandatory analyzing the aut in terms of object identification mandatory selecting test cases for automation mandatory configuring tool settings mandatory but automation framework implementation optional why see without using any automation framework also you can create and execute tests without automation framework also we can create and execute tests then why automation framework <coughs> it is a, a systematic approach to automate software test process it is a systematic approach to automate software test process see it is optional but important okay this is about uh, test planning now i take uh, this automation framework implementation automation framework design and implementation see design design is company level implementation project level if you design one framework structure for your company that can be used for multiple projects implementation project level got the point any confusion no sir uh, most of the time our our it task is uh, most of the time our task is implementation we will discuss design and implementation see in this chapter first i will explain theory tomorrow we will discuss practical what is automation framework see framework it is general term general term you can find framework concept in java.net also but our scenario automation framework means a systematic approach to automate software test process 
it is a systematic approach to automate software test process see in another words you can say it is a set of guidelines set of guidelines assumptions and process uh, the developed by exports exports means senior people senior testers not only testers any qa people uh, can involve in this uh, automation framework design develop developed by experts means senior people suppose you are says medium scale or small scale company you also involve in automation framework design no restrictions it is a set of guidelines assumptions if it small then pardon if it is small then the tester won't involve one if uh, if it is a small i mean project or company or small thing then the test, tester won't be involved in yes. the tester tester mm -hmm. if it is small scale or medium scale project tester can involve in this automation framework design hello okay sir i Test understood the tester can involve sometimes okay. uh, testers only prepare this automation framework but in large scale pro, uh, but in la, uh, large scale projects generally senior people experts develop this framework but no no restrictions okay na I got it. Okay. Yes. It is a set of guidelines, assumptions, and process that developed by experts. Mm, see. In order to perform, in order to perform tasks. In an effective effective next effective and uh, optimized way see in order to perform tasks in an effective and optimized way okay this is about automation framework see tell me what is automation framework first general definition first definition automation framework is a systematic approach to automate uh, software process process next second one it is a set of guidelines assumptions and process that developed by experts in order to mm -hmm. perform tasks in an effective efficient and optimized way okay this is about what is framework what is automation framework next next point why why automation framework framework single word why automation framework 
already we discussed automation framework is optional not mandatory without automation framework also we can create and execute tests see uh, batch testing concept is there you can execute test batches without automation framework then why automation framework ah, here I will provide one case study concentrate I have two scenarios first scenario first scenario writing a letter writing a letter second scenario test automation ah, first one writing a letter for writing for writing a letter you can select uh, word document for example here task is writing a letter resource is word document one task one file see for this no systematic approach required why only one task one file no systematic approach is required next another scenario test automation test automation not like that say in a project test automation we create and use different types of files and we perform different types of tasks in order to store and organize them all a systematic approach nothing but framework is required say observe in a project testing we create and use different types of resources see in our scenario files suppose object repository is resource file function library function library is one of the resource of EFT test automation that is file VBS file we create and use different types of files and we perform different types of tasks in order to store and organize organize them all a systematic approach nothing but framework is required okay now now tell me why why automation framework mm, for systematic approach okay next uh, extension of this topic here I use two terms resources and tasks uh, files are resources files to be created files to be created and used in UFT files to be created and used 
uh, here I will list out all types of uh, files sometimes uh, we uh, most of the time we can't use all types of files we use some important files only but I will list out all types of files uh, tell me what are the files that we create and use in EFT test automation? Word file, Excel file. Mm. Shared object repository files. Shared object or repository files. One or more. Extension. What is the extension of shared object repository files? dot tsr dot tsr test shared repository next function library files just a minute function library files what is the extension function library files dot vbs vbs visual basic script next environment environment variables files uh, extension environment variables files mm. Mm. XML okay. next test batch files MTB next A recovery scenario files A recovery scenario files ah A recovery scenario files mm -hmm. extension QRS quick recovery scenario see these are standard extensions next test data files for test data files you can use either text files no restrictions or excel files or any other database files etc or any other supporting files next test results See, generally, EFT provides test result for every test iteration. EFT provides test result in XML format. Uh, if you want to export test result to other formats, you can export. If you want to define test result, see, most of the time in framework, we define our, we define test result. That time you can export result using Excel file also. Here also no re, no restriction. You can use any one. See most of the time we use Excel files. Next AOM automation object model. AOM script files. VBS. 
any other tell me we listed maximum files na shared object repository function library any other i don't remember okay we covered maximum next tasks to be performed tasks to be performed see extension of this y automation framework here we used resources tasks now we are discussing files to be created and used files to be created and used this is one topic sub topic next task to be performed uh, here list out the all tasks all important tasks from scratch you know first initial task get initial task get environment details and select appropriate add-ins this is initial task next a uh, second one analyze the aut in terms of object identification analyze the aut in terms of object identification next third one select test cases for automation next tool settings configuration and globalize configure tool settings and globalize next <coughs> automation framework implementation under this automation framework implementation tasks first one uh, first create create a folder structure create a folder structure why folder structure to store automation resources see during test automation we create uh, we create and use various resources to store those resources in an organized manner folder structure is required create a folder structure to store automation automation resources next create automation resources create automation resources and store store into corresponding folders next create organizer create organizer what is organizer that we will discuss later just remember 
organizer it provides instructions to driver script driver execute tests one by one based on organizer instructions see organizer file it is a excel file next create driver script it is uft test it execute tests one by one and export test result what is driver script and what is the functionality of driver script we will discuss later in practical chapter you can get more clarity create driver script next create initialization script initialization script it launches aom tool calls driver script and at the end it closes uh, uft tool what is the functionality of initialization script it launches uft tool calls driver script then driver execute tests one by one based on organizer spreadsheet instructions at the end it closes uft tool it is aom script vbs file this is uft test only next <coughs> after execution analyze analyze the test result and uh, export a report defects next after uh, receiving modified build after a defects fixation execute just a minute e execute sanity tests suppose working fine application is acceptable then execute comprehensive tests means all possible tests complete testing sanity testing purpose is verifying whether the build is acceptable or not comprehensive testing purpose is complete testing just a minute comprehensive tests next analyze test result and report defects next after receiving modified build execute a regression tests next same execute regression tests next this is cycle 
before regression again sanity execute sanity tests on modified build build next regression tests cycle 1 this cycles depends on our application next analyzing test results same cycle analyzing test results and reporting defects ah uh, what is next again executing sanity tests on modified build next build next execute regression tests cycle 2 see like this see fine attend final regression final regression next modify automation resources optional automation resources if required next attend maintain maintenance maintenance of automation resources see these are the important tasks in test automation okay na any confusion no confusion sir okay cool um, see i will explain one folder structure folder structure varies from one company to another and one project to another Uh, we will discuss one model uh, framework structure model folder structure you can use it otherwise based on your company structure you can follow see folder structure see first we create main folder under main folder sub folders object or repository see Uh, we create all folders but in automation we use some folders only uh, some folders only but you create all folders whenever required you can use 
object repository. Uh, what is the purpose of object repository folder? To store to store shared object repository files. Suppose if you don't use object repository based test design, then you no need to use this folder. Create the folder but no use. If you want to use, you can use. Next, function library. Function library. To store library files. To store library files. Next, recovery. To store recovery scenario files. Recovery scenario files. Next, environment, to store environment variable files. Next, <coughs> test data, test data to store test data files. Next, put mute, test results. To store test result files. Next, test scenarios. To store test scenario files, one or more. Next, organizer to store organizer file, one or most of the time one file. Next, drivers to store driver scripts. One or more. Next, miscellaneous other than above, other than above. Uh, generally, in this folder, we store process guideline document, process guidelines document, next, approval documents, approvals from management approval documents, next instructions by team lead etc. In miscellaneous, generally we store, here you can store other than above, generally we store process guidelines doc, next approval docs one or more. Next, instructions by team lead. 
etcetera see all these are folders under main folder next one file also see one folder may have subfolders and files here one independent file is there that is initialization initialization script initialization script it is vbs file executable file can you tell me folder structure see already already we discussed folder structure may varies from folder structure may vary from one company to another and one project to another yes sir but we are discussing uh, one model structure you can use it otherwise you can follow your company uh, folder structure okay uh, we discussed one folder structure na uh, tell me what are the important object. folders uh, object object repository object repository uh, functional library function not functional function library recovery recovery test data test data environment, environment test, test results, results organizer uh, drivers drivers uh, and then the last one initialization script initialization, initialization script. script okay tomorrow we will discuss practical uh, before that one small concept types of framework types of automation framework say framework names local not global framework names local not global you can use any name but try to use standard names or meaningful names suppose if you say in our company we are using abcd framework if if you explain proper process then we have to accept it we can't argue uh, no abcd framework in the industry why abcd framework might be there suppose in your company you are following abcd framework if you explain if you explain proper process then we have to accept it why framework names local you can use any standard name or meaningful name okay uh, even though automation framework names are local but some standard names available in the industry see first generation framework first generation framework record and playback see 90s 1990s see more than 20 years back more than 20 years back record and playback or you can say linear framework record and playback or linear framework this is first generation framework next data driven framework data driven framework next modular 
modular framework modularity means similarity next important one keyword keyword driven framework next hybrid framework hybrid means uh, it is a combination of two or more approaches combination of two or more approaches for example data driven framework and keyword framework keyword driven framework see example keyword framework keyword framework keyword driven framework and data driven framework Okay, now tell me, uh, anyhow, uh, fold, uh, framework names local, some standard uh, frameworks available in the industry. What are the names, types of framework? Uh, record, on, record and run or linear framework, and hmm. then modular, and then keyword, hmm. and then... See data driven framework, modular framework, keyword driven framework, hybrid framework. Hybrid framework. What is hybrid framework? It is a combination of two or more approaches. Two or minimum two. Two or more approaches. See in this keyword driven framework is important. Keyword driven framework is important. Okay, we will discuss data driven hybrid also. See keyword driven framework. What is keyword driven framework? In this approach, tests can be created and executed using keywords. See, in this approach, tests Tests can be created and executed using keywords. See EFT tool tag also advanced keyword driven testing. What is keyword? A key to the code. In another words, it is a reserved word that refers a command or object or function or method or statement. See, keyword. What is keyword? See, a key to the code simple meaning a key to the code for example I want to generate system date current date for that we no need to write any logic why date function is there date that date keyword is key to the code Code developed by Microsoft. That code developed by Microsoft. You can develop your own functions. Suppose I developed login function. Login is function name. 
means that login is keyword, key to the code. Another definition, it is a, a reserved word, reserved word that refers a command or function or object or method or statement etc. See in our automation we use EFT tool keywords and VB script keywords. For example, test object is EFT tool keyword. Observe. Keywords in EFT test automation. See EFT keywords. VB script keywords. Both are comes under EFT uh, keywords. Uh, both are used for EFT testing. For example, EFT keywords test object utility object next methods etc. VB script keywords automation object next functions user defined and built in next some methods also available method statements etc and one more thing keywords some keywords predefined some keywords user defined test object predefined utility object predefined automation object user defined suppose file system object excel object you can use your own names for object names. See, uh, for example, functions, built in function predefined, user defined function, user defined keyword. Okay? Okay, we will meet uh, tomorrow, same time.